Hey Collective. So look, I've already recorded this once and I've uh, uh, lost the video again, but I just knew that this message was for you and I had ended the video before I had a chance to pull out message cards anyways. Oh my goodness. So this gives me a chance to um, add the message cards to this particular reading. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I got, give you the reading and then um, pull out the message cards. So before we go ahead and get into this, we'll just go ahead and use the singing bow real quick and call spirit back in and then I'll deliver the message and do the message cards and then I'll let you guys go and I'll come back with another uh, reading. But you guys know that I always pull on camera anyway, so hopefully you trust the messages um, and trust me to know that these cards were pulled out on camera. So let's go ahead and do this. You can go ahead and visualize a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love. Ask your spirit team connect with you through this reading of your highest good. <clears throat> Thank you, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels, archangels, ascendant masters, ancestors, and higher light beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered. I thank you for guiding, blessing, protecting this reading, myself and the collective. I thank you for allowing me to clearly and accurately see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none that come only from the divine. With peace, love, light, and gratitude, so it is. Namaste. Okay, so the um, the first card that I pulled out, we've got Fair is Fair, Collector of Hearts, Blessed Union. So, and then I've got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Hermit, the Page of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Uh, before I forget, I do want, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to save it for the end. Hopefully I won't forget. If I do, I'll save, I'll save it for the next video because when I get to channel in, um, I forget to say what I want to say. But anyways... I do feel like with this fair is fair, and it does, it's like the justice card. It represents justice, balance, mutual benefit. And what I was showing you guys on the other video was you see here, she's holding the scales of justice, just like on the justice card, this is an Oracle deck. And so on the tarot deck, this particular tarot deck that I had gotten out to go with these Oracle cards because they're the same type of drawings, um, you see the Queen of Swords is um, holding scales of justice with the sword. So it's like, I feel like you, um, also the Queen of Swords, like she can be a bit defensive, um, hostile, angry at times. And I am sensing some angry energy because we do have the Nine of Wands. You may really feel like you're defending yourself with a person um, or a situation. And you may feel with this Page of Pentacles, it, it says reliability. Also, the Queen of Swords even says fairness on the card. I meant to show you that a moment ago. It says fairness. Fairness. Fair is fair. It says fair is fair. And the Queen of Swords says fairness. And the fact that these came out together. Oh, I wish you guys could have seen that on camera. But these two cards come out together and the Page of Pentacles reliability. I feel like you are fighting for something that's fair um, with, and, and it feels like a relationship, like with a connection. This could be with a family member or with regards to work at work, you know, with your boss or, you know, um, something here it could be school for some of you, family, whatever this is, but like you are taking on a lot of responsibilities or you're taking on a lot within a connection and you feel like you've got a lot on you. I feel like you do have a lot of responsibilities in your home or your work situation and you feel as though something isn't fair. You're fighting for fairness. There could be like a transactional type relationship as well that you're dealing with where um, uh, it's like there's, const there's constant keeping track of who does what, this person does this, this person pays that. <clears throat> and you may be feeling a bit um, aggression or maybe even um, your person could be feeling a bit aggressive towards you. Maybe they feel like they're the ones that are being treated unfairly and that they're doing everything and carrying the bulk of the responsibility. I feel like there's fights and arguments due to uh, finances though, about like what's fair and who pays what and who does what. And you may be feeling like under attack because with this nine of wands and we've got the seven of wands down here, 
right here. This is that feeling of feeling under attack, feeling as though like you've got to keep your guard up um, with a person or a situation. You may be feeling drained and tired, frustrated, aggravated by, you know, maybe you're um, cleaning up the house and you're doing everything around the house and you're not getting, you know, there's not much um, fairness and balance, you know, and you feel like you're being treated unfairly. You may, um, there may be some anger or some like lashing out type of energy here. Sorry, I'm trying to get all of this out because I've already recorded it once. And now like I'm in a little bit of a hurry. The other, the original reading lasted uh, 40 some minutes, but I don't have a whole lot of time because uh, I need to run to Walmart, guys. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, like I feel like you're um, doing a lot of like reflecting and I feel like your your person, or there's someone here that's also um, reflecting or feeling alone. Um, so this could be you or someone that you're dealing with is feeling alone. You may feel like you're, um, uh, you may feel like you can't completely trust a person, and you're constantly on guard. I do feel like there are there is like this constant battle or arguments that. Um, who's right trying to figure out who's right which one is right um, and it's like someone here wanting the final say and just wanting to feel safe and secure within a connection I'm also seeing like um, religious traumas because of this nine of wands with the you know little um, picture here that's supposed to be represent Jesus and wands represents trauma or wounds so I do feel like someone here has been on been going through like this um, ongoing battle with uh, uh, seeking truth religious truth or spiritual truth within themselves um, and so like you but you and a particular person whether you realize it or not whether this is a past person or a current person you do have a divine mission together whether that was because you had karmic a karmic contract with one another some sort of karmic contract or karmic lesson or both um and now it's like you've really just um um i feel like you're at your breaking point you may be feeling like um trying to uh, it feels like okay so we've got a queen of swords we've got um, two people here the queen of swords and the page of cups we also have the hermit but i feel like the hermit is representing this introspection the energy of the hermit so i feel like we've got two people here that are not on the same page you know we've got um someone here that's um, a bit more immature than the other and there's like this constant like battle for like get on my level type of energy like someone here is not on the same caliber as you but like you are um constantly like feeling like you're on the defense or that you have to defend yourself and this could be with a family um with regards to family um, as well because uh, we've got the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck you may feel like you're the black sheep of the family and like you're you could be like in separation some of you just feel alone or feel abandoned by your family in separation or there could be someone that um, like a family member that um, that has kind of like separated themselves from from the family um, but there's definitely like the need to to really um, show courage and, and, and bravery without being forceful here in this situation and being kind and compassionate and loving while um, at the same time setting up firm, healthy boundaries. Regardless of whether or not you are currently with this person or not, this relationship that I'm tapping into for you is meant to transform you in some way. And I feel like you're meant to like teach this person um, something about like spirituality or love or both. And um, and you're really meant to like listening, listen to your intuition at this time. There is, uh, I'm picking up a, a connection here where there it, there's a little jealousy here. Um, there's also jealousy from outside the connection as well. We do have the jealous one on the bottom of the deck. But, um, and, and your heart chakra, it, um, I do feel like is 
there's like either so, like a blockage it's either over it feels like a blockage because I did see uh, in the first reading um, video there was the uh, when I split the deck I saw the two of swords so there is like this uh, kind of blocked energy where maybe you're just feeling like you just don't know where you stand with this relationship too where maybe you're trying to make a decision on whether or not you want to go or stay but I do feel like someone is starting to like um, become more vulnerable here or showing some vulnerability because I did see the eight of cups earlier and I saw the eight of cups earlier so um, and the eight of cups doesn't always always recommend uh, recommend it doesn't always mean like so many people letting go walking away it doesn't always mean that it also means being vulnerable as well allowing yourself to be vulnerable and you know um, uh, dropping the defenses and letting go of um, those um, uh, fantasy ideas or those energies that aren't serving the highest good to find um, bliss to find fulfillment seeking more seeking more and that's another thing about the eight of cups it represents seeking more not always walking away but actually seeking more so I feel like you could be dealing with a person um, or this is you someone here is seeking more wanting more out of either a relationship or life or maybe even at a career you know where you're just not completely fulfilled anymore and you just need um, just need more and so um, I do see this uh, energy of just um, allowing more um, uh, vulnerability in. So you may be um, at a place where you're just not willing to invest anymore into this relationship too, because I just saw the Ten of Swords. And we have with the everything is okay right here, or everything is fine. So you may be going about your day and like, um, like you are silently suffering suffering and silence but at the same time like you're not willing to invest anymore into this relationship or you may be pretending like everything is fine in the relationship even though it has become quite toxic and needing to really admit it to yourself yeah there we've got the I do see like um, there's that seven of wands again with the king of pentacles it's like there is this um, energy here where like someone is, uh, there may be like um, someone like financially abusive, financially abusive, financially immature. Like you just may be, have had enough. There's the strength card again. So you definitely have been through it. Like you've gone through a lot that has, has really made you, um, maybe you're just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but maybe you're just like, F it, like I'm just done. I can't do this anymore. I'm tired of being defend, you know, being on the defense. I'm tired of having to defend myself, feeling attacked. Maybe you're like, it's like that with a, a family situation as well. Can I get one more card, spirit, uh, one more tarot card? The, bet, look, um, the page of cups with the nine of pentacles. There is a lot of love here though. I'm seeing like an offer being made. This, um, and it's like, there's a, you could be dealing with a person that has a very immature way of um, expressing love or going about lo um, showing love. Money, finances could be a person's love language as well. Like, um, I'm hearing that song, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me, you know, so it's like, I, I don't know why, what that means for you, but, um, so use your intuition with that. 
Could be dealing with a water sign. Look, there's the, there's the, I was talking about how I was um, uh, seeing the Eight of Cups. And look, there's the Seven of Cups too. So, um, there's, there's been a bit of indecisiveness. There's been this energy of someone here having this idea of what they feel like love should look like. But, um, but I'm seeing too, it's like, um, kinder words and, and wanting to express love. And it's like, they're seeking more, seeking that ninth cup and finding it, you know? So they're, um, we've got the page of, of uh, cups twice here and the page of cups it represents like um a message so there could be like some kinder sweeter words spoken um there may even be with that nine of cups there and the page of cups you may be dealing with a bit of love bombing from this person right now because the nine of cups and the seven of cups too the seven of cups can represent like um overindulgence um sometimes and with that nine of cups it's it, definitely feel in that page of cups definitely feels like some love bombing energy so you could be dealing with that so just really using your intuition right there but um the page of cups it does bring a an energy of like newness you know newness like a fresh start into the relationship and and this blessed union it actually even says love that transforms so it's like a transformative energy here you know you could be like with someone who's a bit um, dreamy, immature, who's got their head in the clouds. Um, and, uh, it's like maybe um, really needing to approach this relationship with a with a more open heart right now because i was seeing um a blocked heart chakra and we have the queen of swords so maybe um spirit is really trying to get you to allow yourself to let your guard down here allow yourself to trust i do see that there has been trust issues jealousy issues and so maybe it is time to really approach love either this relationship love in general or this connection or whatever this is here with you know an open heart and and give yourself permission to really explore your feelings and explore what truly makes you happy um and finding fulfillment Look, I'm becoming a better person. I want to feel that way again. So I feel like you are, you are dealing with a person who, uh, it's like your love is transforming them. Something about you is making them, um, open their heart. Now Spirit's playing that song. Put a little love in your home. So you may be the angry one here too. You may be like um, real, like having some uh, unresolved anger issues or you have some emotions, some um, buried emotions, you know, repressed emotions that you're needing to release. And especially because um buried emotions can also cause um physical ailments as well all right thank you divine holy spirit angels archangels ascendant masters ancestors and higher light beings please come here guide this reading and show me because i feel like you are dealing with like you've been lied to you've been cheated on you've been hurt and and like there's been a lot of it's been a very like a roller coaster a, a ride or a roller coaster of emotions. Show me clearly what I need to see. So look, I feel you even though we're apart. So some of you are dealing with a person that there is um, a separation between the two of you and this person still feels energetically connected to you. They know that they didn't treat you fairly. They know that they did you wrong and they were defensive and harsh and there may have even been um 
I don't know, but regardless, this person here is taking time to reflect and to think about you and about um, their feelings for you. What else can you show me, Spirit, for the collective? The person watching this reading, Spirit, what do they need to know about this? Okay. I know that I crossed the line with you. So you're dealing with a person, whether or not there is a, um, whether or not you're actually in separation. Some of you, there is an emotional separation between the two of you. This person feels as though you're emotionally distant and they're trying to like get back to that place where you guys were good at one time. But this person crossed the line. They lied and they mistreated you and they realized that. I want to feel that way again. Look, I regret lying to you, see? So this person knows that they did you wrong and they're regretful, they're guilt, they feel guilty about it. Doesn't mean that you've got to, if you're in separation from this person, it doesn't mean you've got to take them back, but they want to feel the way that they felt with you um, at one point when everything was good, when everything was amazing. I left when I saw you with someone so some of you like you could have been the one like to cheat on someone or maybe you you left when someone cheated on you or there could have been like um, uh, a connection where you separated from someone and and connected with another partner um, I can't stop thinking about you yeah you're dealing with someone who whether or not you're currently with this person or not they they do think about you and you may randomly like um, uh, out of nowhere stop, start thinking about this person and it is because they're thinking about you first and so like if just out of nowhere all of a sudden this person pops up into your head or you see their name or hear their name or whatever it's because they're thinking about you and I will I this saw this card we hear here was on the bottom of the deck um, and it says I will wait for a sign from you so you are dealing with a person you may have like been cast out by a person or felt attacked or you know felt as though um, um, you had to defend yourself uh, maybe even in court to a particular person but now it's like they um, they're they're waiting they're waiting for a sign from you they're waiting um, to know uh, that you still care waiting for you to show them that you still love them and it could be again like a person you're in separation with um, also too there's a connection here where you and a person um, were together when you were too young and um, they realized that you and I were too young and so that's what caused all of the problems here um, but you actually came closer to their heart than anyone else did Ever, and you still are so um, and even if you're in separation or still with this person you have been the one to be closer to them than anyone else so uh, I'm gonna leave this here for you guys and if you would like your own personal private reading please feel free to send me an email and I got a tip this morning someone sent me a tip and i don't know if i can say their name so i'm not going to but if you guys ever do leave a tip please leave a a, a wave in hand to let me know that you don't mind if i if i say your name and give you a shout out but this person who sent me a tip this morning i was outside on my little fire escape balcony thing smoking a cigarette i know it's wrong all right it's not wrong but i know that it's not good for me you guys and i am trying to quit which i have um uh, I used to smoke two packs a day and I don't even smoke one pack a day now so I'm doing good but anyways I was outside smoking a cigarette drinking my coffee and when this tip came in and this person left um, a little note on the tip and said thank you for everything you do and I tell you when I just started to bawl like I literally had tears streaming down my face where I could barely see out of my eyes and I know that I may get really sappy and emotional but I'm not going to apologize for that anymore because um, I love that about me that I can feel so deeply but I just want you to know that you made my day and it meant the world to me and I appreciate you too and um, I thank you so so much so um, I'm going to leave this here for you guys and also too don't remember if you will if 
don't remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't forget that if you want um, to, uh, to try to win a free 15 minute reading, all you need to do is, um, is be subscribed, like the video, and just comment anything because the comments are what I choose the winner from. So, uh, so I go to uh, pick a random video and then randomly choose a comment and make sure that that person's subscribed that randomly gets chosen. And if they're subscribed, then I announce them as the winner. So um, anyways, this is what I have for you and the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.